Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video from HR by Namtique. I am finally back on track following our entire family's serious bout with COVID. It really knocked me off my schedule, but it's great to be back, and I'm excited um, to be back. So whether you're new, a new visitor to my channel, or if you've been here before, um, I value your time and your presence here. So please consider subscribing to my channel. And um, if you haven't yet, also share this video with anyone else who you know who could use some guidance on their successful job search or on another workplace um, matter. Then um, finally, click the um, thumbs up icon to let YouTube know that um, you found this information useful because that will help me to get more um, helpful information to you regarding your job search and different HR type um, topics. And so it's a new year. So a happy new year to everyone. And it's a new opportunity um, to kick your 2024 job search into high gear. So today I'm sharing with you seven tips to start your job search off right for the new year. So we're going to start first with number one. Choose a notebook or create a Google or Word doc document that is dedicated to your job search. This is going to help keep you um, on track and help you to keep um, documentation of ideas and information that you remember over time that can help with your job search. Do not include any information about anything else other than your job search in this notebook, journal, or this document on your computer. Create sections or headings um, in the journal um, or your document. The first section should be your resume. The next section should be your cover letter. The third, the third section should be your references. The fourth section should be social media. Your fifth section should be portfolio. And your sixth section should be interview questions. Then, second, in that notebook or document, make a list of your work history and each position or your work history and every task that you performed on each job. Also list, list all of your accomplishments that you achieved on each job. And um, no matter how small they are, make sure you still list them because they can be very significant. And I'll show you later in future videos how to utilize this information to create a high impact um, resume from scratch or to update the one that you already have. Then third, Choose your two to four most noteworthy career accomplishments that are closely related to the position that you're interested in that you would like to showcase. Make a bullet point list of the job related knowledge, skills, and abilities that you use to achieve these accomplishments on these jobs in these positions, and also describe the positive impact that each of these accomplishments had on your employer's processes, on their people, or on their bottom line or their budget. Now, identify the two that had the greatest impact, positive impact on your employer's um, business operations and make sure you either put a star by them, bold them or something to make them um, stand out. And I'll show you in future videos how to use all four of these accomplishments to create another vital job asset, job search asset. Now, fourth, identify your four or six current or former managers or colleagues whom you like to ask could be a reference for you. Then reach out to them either directly via phone or via email. Let them know that you are planning to um, 
to kick off a job search um, to pursue a career advancement opportunity and ask them if they would be willing to um, serve as a professional reference for you. Make sure that each one of them has firsthand knowledge of the quality of your work and your workplace behavior and judgment, project management, um, things like that. And let's say you reach out to six people and only four of them agree to be references or you find that you no longer know how to contact um, the one, all of them, then that leaves you with four. Most employers will require three professional references. So that'll leave you with still one to spare. Then um, fifth, review each of your social media profiles, scan them very carefully for as far back as you can possibly go and try to delete or ask friends to or um, connections to delete any posts that could um, shed a negative light on you from an employer's perspective. If you don't already have any social media activity, begin by creating a professional LinkedIn profile. It doesn't have to be fancy, but make sure that it's focused on your job search. Even if you start out with just um, attaching a copy of your resume to the profile after you um, answer the questions that LinkedIn initially asks you as you're um, creating a new profile. And then you can always add to it later and update it. Sixth, list items that you can use to build your professional portfolio. They can include a letter of introduction, um, your resume, examples of your best work, articles or papers that you've written or articles that you've been featured in and include files, pictures, videos, etc. And uh, make sure you keep a complete list of those as well. Then seventh, and finally, conclude with a list of knowledge, skills, and abilities. Those are those characteristics that are typically listed in um, a job opening or a job vacancy announcement that um, is required for success on the job. And under each uh, use each one of those knowledge, skills, or abilities as a heading and list the position that you held that um, you either gained or improved your um, yourself in that particular area um, of knowledge, skill, or ability. Also list the projects or duties um, where you gained your increased proficiency in these particular target areas. So in conclusion, remember to not overwhelm yourself during your job search. It is not a race. It's more like a marathon. You'll enjoy a more successful outcome by taking sequential steps towards success. You'll also be less likely to become discouraged and give up on advancing your career. And as you take each step, you'll become the authoritative, confident, informed job seeker who gets the offer. So as you know, my goal is to help you live your best career life. So if you found today's post helpful, share it. Then wherever you're viewing, like it, subscribe, or leave a comment or a question because I'd love to hear from you. So as always, career success to you. Go get your new job.